And welcome to Hope Frontier. This is Phil, and I'm excited you're with me today. We are going to continue our God's Name series, and we are going to get into some different names that Yahweh has. And the first one we're going to do today is Yahweh Yira. And this is a word that was used in the Old Testament in the book of Genesis, and specifically with the story of Abraham and Isaac. So at this time, God had been talking to Abraham and been asking him to trust in him. And this is really important because it really goes with why Abraham used this name Yahweh Yirah. God had said to Abraham that I am going to make a way for you to have descendants as numerous as the stars, to be have descendants that are kings upon nations. And obviously, Abraham had one son, and that son was made by a miracle. So the Lord had to provide a miracle and has to be the means for Abraham to fulfill this calling. God has to fulfill his promises and be the sole reason for Abraham to continue on his lineage. So let's get into it here. This is Genesis chapter 22, and this is right after the part where Abraham ties up Isaac. It's kind of funny, ties up Isaac. <laughs> and he's about to sacrifice him for the Lord. But the Holy Spirit, God tells him to stop. So let's take a look in verse 13. Then Abraham looked up and saw a ram caught by its horns in a thicket. So he took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering in place of his son. Abraham named the place Yahweh Yirah, which means the Lord will provide. To this day, People still use that name as a proverb, on the mountain of the Lord, it will be provided. So, Yahweh Yirah means that the Lord provides. The Lord will provide. So we can see that this story is really important for us as we continue to understand the character of Jesus and what he has done for us. So in this story, Isaac was the sacrifice, and Abraham had to trust that the Lord was going to provide for him. And of course, God did provide. God provided the ram that could be used as a substitute for Isaac. And this substitution is really key to understand this concept. Because as humans, we've all sinned, we've all made mistakes, and we deserve punishment. We deserve judgment and death. So God chooses to do a substitution so that we can continue to live and also continue to have a relationship with him if we receive the forgiveness of Jesus. So this idea of provision is really vital because it helps us understand that we must rely on the hand of God in our life. If we don't learn to rely on what God has for us, we're going to end up taking what isn't ours and we're going to end up sinning and causing problems in our life. So we have to trust that this God of ours is going to provide everything that we need. Let's just take a quick look at Psalm 23. And it doesn't exactly use the word Yahweh Yirah, but the image that it has is the same as Yahweh Yirah. It says this in verse 1, The Lord is my shepherd. I have all that I need. So what happens here? Well, obviously, the shepherd provides all all the needs that the sheep have. So God is our good shepherd. He'll provide for us, provide everything that we need. Not necessarily everything we want, but everything that we need. And that does become a bit challenging, especially as humans. We expect that we'll always continue moving forward in our life. And sometimes when it feels like we're moving backwards, we can get angry at God and say, well, you haven't given me what I need. But that is not what God says. God says, I'll give you what you need in your life. So a lot of times, God doesn't give us what we want so that we can get stronger, grow our faith deeper, and really develop that inner character so that we can do so much more with what God has for us. Now, another reason why this is important is because this concept of this provision from God 
this act of substitution that we saw in Genesis 22 is that this is what Jesus has done for us. For example, in the book of John, Jesus clearly said that he was the bread of life and anyone who comes to him will be provided for. So this idea that God is this living bread, that Jesus Christ is the one who's going to provide all that we need in our spirit. That concept links directly to Genesis 22. And then also the fact that Jesus was the substitute for us on the cross, that he has provided everything we need to be forgiven. And that is key because everything that we can do on this planet cannot bring us righteousness and cannot bring us forgiveness. It is only through the substitution of Jesus on the cross is the reason why we're able to be forgiven. And so we see this concept playing out in Romans chapter 8. This is verse 2, and I'll just read it here. It says, And because you belong to Jesus, the power of the life-giving Spirit has freed you from the power of sin that leads to death. So once again, we deserve death. We deserve judgment. But we have been provided a new way. All that was waiting down on us has been taken away because Jesus provided a means for us to receive the forgiveness. So this is so powerful for us because we are free from all those things that have weighed us down in the past. We have to shake free the idea that we have to work to receive salvation from God because that will not ever work. We have been forgiven. There's a substitute, which is Jesus, and he provided a way for us to get forgiveness. So in our life, when we're facing challenges, when we're facing a significant need, we have to understand that what we need comes from the Lord, not from our own strength, not from our own power. Even if, obviously, we have to do work, we have to do things in order to expand God's kingdom, in order to live our life, the ability to do so was given from the Lord our God. Since we deserve judgment and death, and that every moment of our life is actually a gift from God, that's an amazing way to think about your life. Every breath you have is a gift that is provided to you from the Lord. So that should be encouraging. That should give you excitement. That should really help you just feel connected to the Lord who cares so much that no matter what happens in your life, God will provide a way for you.